of the reason I ask you, you hear about uh, Deontay Wilder. He says, I want a body on my record. Which oh, Deontay saying. just talks a lot of shit. Okay. Come on, man. Everyone talks that. Everyone says shit like that throughout the history of the sport. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, look at the stuff. With, come on, that's just shitty sense. Um, John Day's a good guy, good athlete. Um, skill wise, he's got one hell of a right hand, yes. and that's all the fucking needs. But to going into a lot of these fights, you want more than just a right hand. Mm -hmm. uh, but. So far, so good. Served him very, very well. But one thing about Deontay Wilder, you better come fit, because that fucker is in shape. Yes. And um, that's it. Would you say he's the hardest puncher in heavyweight of all times? Him? Yes. No. Give me top five. Uh, I'll give you Tyson. Uh, I'll give you Mike. I'll give you uh, George Foreman. I'll give you uh, Sammy Liston. Um, uh, there was another one too. I mean, there's a bunch of guys out at Cracker. The hardest I've ever been hit was uh, Dennis Andres. Mm. Like heavyweight champion. It was Craig Cruz. I was sparring. This son of a bitch then tingles to my toes. He could really fucking punch. So, you know, I don't say Deontay is the hardest punch of all time. I think that's not totally inaccurate. It's a good solid puncher. He's got a great right hand. But these guys back again would knock you out with either hand. The hooks, right hands, you know. Uh, look at Jeff Harney, light heavyweight champ. He had a fucking vicious jab. Look at Michael Mora. Great fucking jab. Although he's a he's a orthodox guy turned southpaw, his jab was fucking devastating. I see him drop people with a fucking jab. So you know, I'd say Dion's got the hardest punch ever. What's the science behind converting fighters where their power hand is their lead hand? What's the reason no, behind it? I don't do it. No? Um, I mean, a few, a few fighters have done it, and the ones that have done it have been very successful, but I don't, I don't do it. I, don't, I never have done it, never really looked at it. Take what you have naturally and work what you have naturally. But for some guys it works, then great. Good luck to them. Yeah, I think about Frazier, De La Hoya, Michael Moore. Victor Ortiz, they all were... Well, Frazier's biggest thing about Frazier was he was 15 rounds fit. Mm. He come out in the 15th like it was the first. So these guys' fitness and work ethic was phenomenal. So you know, there was just no stopping someone like Frazier. <laughs> Unless you stopped him, he wasn't stopping. Do you think uh, Deontay Wilder would be able to hang in the 80s, with, in the 90s, sorry, no. with you guys? What do you think is missing? Uh, these guys in the nineties come from boxing. They were brought up in boxing. That's their that's their bread and butter. That's their life, but that's their job. So um, yeah, no, there's no nothing on uh, water. It's just a different era of um, of boxing, and you just can't compare eras to boxing. I mean, so you say, oh. You know, the nines were better than the, than now, and 2008 was a sort of shitty era for heavyweights. But then seven, and, uh, you know, this is the way it is. The 60s were good. The 70s were eh, goodish. The 40s and 50s were fucking great. And it's just eras. Yeah. And they seem to run in 10 year slots or 10 year eras. So who knows? It's not fair to. In some respects, it's not fair to compare it to eras but then I do it because that's where I came out of and I'm a heavyweight and I'm actually still in boxing so mm -hmm. hey guys come down to Fortune Gym we just moved down from Sunset to Melrose 7801 Melrose website's fortunegym.com um, come check it out